What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Lou's Coach Review back in with another review, and that's right. Today we're going to be doing a little review, an unboxing session, and a little tutorial, I guess, for those of you who are looking to become content creators, whether it's library.com or it's on uh, Vimeo or YouTube or Instagram or wherever. Um, this is actually a pretty cool kit that you could buy, and you can get other things as well. I mean, I picked up a tripod stand okay and I also picked up a selfie light okay now selfie lights are very important for lighting okay I use LED lights so I have one on the right one on the left of me right now uh, sometimes I have a little bit more I'll put one behind or I'll put one in a corner you know just to maybe a hair light or something sometimes I do different things but this is great for the content creator on the go the reason said is because it's lightweight. It runs off a USB power. You could either plug it into a wall at your house or you could plug it into a portable battery power source that you just USB plug straight into, which is great for those of you on the go, on location, or wherever. Okay. Um, the reason why I got a tripod is because not only do I have a cell phone, but I also have a Nikon mirrorless camera. I got a Nikon Z6, which is what I'm using right now to shoot this video, okay? Now, a lot of people will say, well, you know, I, I would like much something much more sturdier on my, uh, to hold my camera up, you know? And yes, Nikon Z6, very expensive, over $2,000 or whatever the price is today, I'm not sure. Maybe it's 1800 bucks or 1600 I don't know. As time goes on, the camera bodies start to lose value. So, you know. But uh, all in all, though, I will say this, though. It is highly important that you do buy something structurally safe for a heavy camera. Okay? Now, if you're just using a cell phone, which this is for... This is a kit that I think is more geared and designed for the person who's just starting out, okay? It's not that expensive, it doesn't break the bank, and it still serves a purpose and it still works. And in this video with this selfie light, we're gonna go outside at nighttime. Right now it's daytime, but tonight I'm gonna go outside at night and I'm going to film using this at night when it's completely dark out, and then we're gonna raise and lower the brightness of the ring light with my cell phone, I'm gonna record it, and we're gonna see how the quality comes out. Now I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be recording in 4K on my cell phone, although I have the ability to, I won't be. I'm just gonna be using regular 1080p HD, you know, that's it. And um, you know, this is just for those people starting out that don't have a lot of money and don't wanna break the bank but want to do something in regards to being a content creator, whether it's a food critic or it's a reviewer of products or whatever. Or even if it's somebody who's doing makeup tutorials or someone who's fishing on a boat somewhere, fishing for tuna, if there's some sort of tips and tricks they want to offer. Whatever the case may be, this is a good kit to have, okay? And if you're looking for something, like I said, if you don't have this light and you have like the mini cube leds or whatever type of leds you have then you get something like this just a a, a phone or camera tripod to hold your product now the reason why i chose this company andobil right here andobil the reason why i chose them is because their products are derived from organic material that's pretty crazy it says, uh, Andobil package comes from environmental friendly materials with soy ink printed. We're committed to offering more delicate, simple, and flexible protection to minimize the impact of the environment. So it's an environmental friendly safe company also. So they 3D print these products, but they are using soy ink. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, I think that's pretty interesting. It's worth definitely giving this a try and seeing what's what. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by opening first my tripod. Check out packaging. 
easy to access. As soon as I open it, there's a user guide and there's a business card it looks like and it says search our channel on YouTube. Okay, I didn't know they had a YouTube channel. Scan the QR code. So there is a QR code on here you can scan and I guess it'll take you right to their YouTube channel. Uh, this was purchased on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description down below. I don't get any royalties or any commission or anything like that from this. Uh, it says, there's another little card in here. It says, hello, thank you for purchasing and a bill product. Join our VIP family by scanning the QR code. Uh, quick and easy. After joining, you will get all the benefits on the back. If you are inconvenient, if you are, <laughs> China sometimes, you know, the, the translation sometimes doesn't work out sometimes, but if you are inconvenienced is what they should be writing uh, to scan, you can contact us by emailing support at andabil.com, okay? Now, their VIP program offers an 18-month warranty, a chance for new product test, 20% off for the next purchase, and there's outlet deals also. So if you go to www.andobil.com, andobil.com, you go there you can check them out check out warranties check this out check that out check out whatever welcome guide comes with a remote control too that's cool i didn't know that remote control model pdu z759 wireless name z075 what is this control oh look at that you could bluetooth it to ios or android and you could oh wow that's cool you could Bluetooth the remote to your iOS or Android phone, and you could use the remote to start the shutter for your video. So in other words, if instead of hitting the video button and stepping back and then recording, you just have the remote in your pocket, stand the distance you want to, and then hit the button on the remote to activate your camera on your phone. I think that's pretty awesome. I think that's really cool. Seriously, that's that's a cool little feature to have on a tripod. Okay, what else is in here? All right, phone holders, okay. So I see here, they have a phone holder. It's probably expandable. So let's see, open this up. Okay, doesn't feel expandable. What is this for? Hmm. Oh, it is expandable. Wow. That's very sturdy. So if you have a wider phone and you have a screw here for your tripod and a screw here for your tripod. So if you plan on going wide, you know, this way or that way, you can do it that way because the screw, there's a female in, inlet screw here and a female there. Okay. And wow, that is very strong. The spring on there is very, very highly resistant. Okay, and we also have a gimbal. Okay, they have a gimbal here. You can change directions. And they also give me a turn key here. Oh, I see. So this is when you insert this into the tripod. Okay. And this is my remote. They give you a battery. It's a CR2032 battery. And that will go, oops. Oh, so they already give you a battery. And they give you an, an additional. And then when you, when you, you have to open your battery basically because you have to remove this little plastic clear piece which prevents you making contact. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to play with this yet because I'm recording right now. But that's interesting that they do that. And this has this, which I'm under the assumption that I would send this post through and then tighten it on the outside so I could adjust my gimbal position. 
nice little shoulder strap bag. I mean, it's a little, it's a little thing, you know, it's just, it's, it's an extra, you know, if it makes your life easier, that's cool. All righty. And this is also bag. Wow. Lots of extensions. So this is very small and very portable, which is cool. And let me loosen the legs. Okay. I'll probably add a little grease or oil to this, but yeah, that's cool. So I see. All right. So basically you want to have it stand like this. You could probably extend it all the way out like that, but it's not going to be as stable. So you're going to want to just make sure you have your legs like that. And it's got a little tightening screw here. We could tighten it up. Not bad. Soy ink. Very interesting. This is my gimbal top right here, but this just only turns forward and back. And I can't change camera position with this one, so I could unloosen this. I could loosen that up. And then pop this out. There we go. Yeah, because this doesn't turn left and right. However, this one does. So I could fit this in here. Put the nut female over here. And feed this through. Make sure it lines up. There we go. Lined it up. So now this goes left and right, or I'm sorry, up and down, and I can lock it in tightly, and then I can just change the position left or right of my camera. So if I needed to angle this way or angle it that way, I'll be able to angle it. That's pretty cool. This is just if you're gonna stay stationary. So this, basically, you screw this into this. Oh, I see, all right. So there's a little dial here. Just tighten up that dial. There's a little rubber base on here to keep the phone holder on there stationary. And you could extend it. That's cool. But remember, this would only turn this way and that way. It'll go forward and back. It won't turn right and it won't turn left. Interesting. And this, let's see. Let's see if I did it this way. Look at that. So you can see, you see what I'm saying? So I could be like this, watch. I'll angle it towards you. And then you could turn it. That's cool. There you go. It wasn't looking straight. You're going to want to make sure you tighten this piece onto the thread very snugly. So this phone holder, you want it on the gimbal very snugly. Okay, so now we're going to see how tall this thing extends. I gotta say that's it's actually not bad. It's probably about five feet. That looks like it's about five feet tall. Because I'm six foot six. And I'm guessing each position between from bottom to here is twelve inches. From here to here another twelve inches. So one, two, Three, four, five. That's why I say five feet. Because this looks like from here to here, 
This actually looks like a little bit more than 12 inches, but this from here to here looks like 12 inches. From there to there is another 12. There to there, another 12. And here to the bottom, another 12. And keep in mind, these legs that extend right here are going further than the base of this post. So it's actually going to be higher than five. Maybe it's like five and a half feet. But that's very interesting. That's very cool. I like that. And it's very lightweight and it's very portable. So that is pretty cool. Uh, now, the other question is, would I put a Nikon camera on there? No. I wouldn't put a Nikon uh, DSLR body on there. But however, I would put a phone body on there. Okay. So absolutely, I would put a phone on there. This is a nice little... This is a nice little deal. You know, this is a very nice little deal. And this gimbal is cool too for going forward and back simply because if you're angling down and you're trying to get something up close, you can angle this all the way that way if you want. If you're shooting down to the table, let's say you're videoing with your cell phone and you're doing an unboxing on something, you can actually have your cell phone facing down with this on here, which is such a durable and strong very strong a lot of resistance it's going to hold your phone your phone will not fall if it's if it's on an angle basically so you'll be fine okay so this is awesome the fact that they give you another one of these is also cool i like that because if in the event you strip or lose the nut let's say you're out on location and you're changing gimbals and you drop the nut hey you got an additional screw with an additional nut on it you have an additional battery for your remote. This was such a nice little package. So this all goes together. I'm gonna take this, drop this in here. Excellent, look at that. I got room for that. I got room for this. Absolutely have room and I got room for that. That's perfect. And it's so lightweight. It's not intrusive. It doesn't bother me at all. It's on my shoulder and it works great. So it's a good package, good packaging. Uh, it's lightweight and it's super affordable. So definitely a worthy purchase. Absolutely. Now we're going to take a look at our selfie light. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. The packaging is very nice. I got to say the packaging, the way they made this, very good packaging. Very strong, durable. You know, in shipping, this came in another box, which was much bigger and had all these air pocket things in there that, you know, helped absorb any impact. So I thought that was cool. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and out came a card and this is a card for that VIP club again. So it says register for our VIP club, win a surprise gift, get quick help for any issue, share review to make us better. So if you do review online and make them, you know, and share it, uh, whether it's negative or positive, at least they will uh, know what to do to make corrections for future products. Comes with a, user guide so we have a user manual and it's called the selfie ring light okay the selfie ring light so I'm gonna see something here it's a 10 watt uh, input is 5 volt 2 amp operating temperature 0 degrees Celsius to negative 35 Celsius Maximum stretching, 61 inches, height of telescoping rod. So the telescoping rod that this comes with is 61 inches. So this has, like the other thing I have, the Andobil, uh selfie tripod. I'm guessing it has the same thing. But this one looks like it has way more accessories. So you might, if you're looking, if your budget is very tight, get the selfie uh, tripod stick one. But if you have a little additional to spend, get this ring light. It'll come with the tripod. I didn't realize this one came with the tripod. 
I thought it was just the ring that I could use on that tripod. So it's better that, you know, I found out my way and, uh, and you guys won't have to go through that. So instead of buying the tripod uh, selfie stick, basically, you can get this ring light and it'll come with the tripod with the selfie stick. So that's not bad at all. Uh, parts on this, they got a PTC uh, gimbal screw, uh, a gimbal screw knob, a gimbal nod, and a gimbal. <laughs> it's got one, two, three, four. It looks like there's four blocking levers for the brackets. And it's got a lot of, uh, a lot of cool things here. It's got a hose clamp, bendable hose clamp. It's got a regulator that's wired on there. Brightness enhance button, brightness reduction, uh, indicator light, switch button, light effect mode. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. And you can use it as a tripod plus ring light plus hose clamp. Or you could use it as a tripod, ring light, bicycle clip. Or you could use it as a tripod and a phone clip. Okay. Interesting. Well, a lot of applications that you could do with this. This is interesting. I like this. That's cool. All right. I see that now. That's good. Very good. Nice. Okay. Oh, no kidding. That's cool. All right. Very nice. I like that. So, let's start off with our selfie tripod again, which I just reviewed. But, uh... I'm guessing that's exactly what this is, and it looks very similar, but this one's a little different. Okay, so this one is a little different. So this has a little bit beefier of the legs on the bottom. So I'm gonna loosen the screw, the tensioning screw. Okay, got nice rubberized feet on the bottom of the legs. The other one had rubberized feet as well, but this one just seems a little bigger the rubberized feet. And tighten the tension screw on the bottom. Okay. So a little bit wider. The legs are a little bit wider than the previous one. We have one, two, three, four extensions. This one says it's 61 inches telescope. So it's about the same size as the other one. Got a slight, slight wobble to it. So it's not the heaviest because it's light. They made it light for that reason. So if you want to weigh down your tripod, the best thing I would say, if you're outdoors on a windy day or whatnot, I get a little satchel and fill it with beach sand and then stitch it closed and put a little hook on it so you can hook it to your tripod. This way it gives it some good weight to hold it down. Okay. Here is our ring light. So you can put the ring light in two different positions. You could have it this way, or you could have it this way. Compared to my face, it's a decent size opening right there. Okay. And it comes with other accessories as well. This one comes with a remote also, so that's cool. Just like the previous model uh, device we were looking at, the other tripod. Uh, this one does have a remote with an extra battery. This one has two buttons on it. So this one says, okay, one is for, uh, one button is for Android and one button is for iOS system. So one is for Apple and one is for Android. So that's cool. So you can still Bluetooth your phone to this remote and then you could use it to use it as a shutter open and close. Now this is cool, they give you, this will go on the piping right here basically. It's a little bicycle clamp with a metal hook to latch on these grooves right here. So it locks in nice and tight. So you basically open up the clamp, put it around the pipe, and then take the metal wire, hook it in, and close it tight. So you have this as an option. So 
So you could do this. You could put your phone in here, angle it however which way you want. You want to go down, you want to go up. If you want, this is what it's good for, is if you need some sort of monitor to see what you're looking at, basically. So if this one is, if you have a phone up here that's recording you, or some recording device here that's recording you that's in the ring light. So if your ring light is up here, and there's a phone in the center of the ring light, then you can have something here to to show you what you look like, like a monitor, so you can see how you look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just attach the ring light to this uh, pod stand, basically. So I'm gonna unscrew the gimbal screw. I'm going to take my gimbal go ahead take my gimbal out now i could use my gimbal from my other tripod or i could use this gimbal so i'm just going to use this gimbal for now which this is the forward back gimbal and i'll explain that in a second so as soon as that snaps into place once you fit it in there you're going to take your gimbal screw tighten it up so now what happens here is, let me just loosen this, turn this, and then tighten. Okay, and this I could tighten up, I could position it how I want it. If I'm gonna have my phone here, I could put my phone here. If I don't wanna put my phone here, I could have my phone attached to the ring light. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this ring light, Place it on top of the gimbal screw and turn the gimbal screw knob, which will basically tighten the ring light to the stand. So now it's freestanding. Now it's not on, okay, but it may look like it's on, but it's really not on right now. Attached to the ring light, I have a little remote control. It's got a power on, uh, plus, minus. And then what I can do is I can screw in this, or really it's up to you what you want to screw in at this point, but I'm going to screw in this into the ring light itself. This is your phone holder. And you could basically just bend that forward if you want could put a phone in there and have the light come from behind and illuminate the subject right and if you have someone with you and they want to adjust the lighting they could adjust the light from this remote control okay and if you are out and about and you're solo and you need to trigger your camera on on your phone you could just use the little remote just point click and it'll start recording for you, which ain't that bad. You know, it's not bad at all if you think about it. If you wanna back this out, you get that little ball on there, okay? So this is going to adjust, and the nut on the back is going to tighten. So once you have your position, you can tighten it. Now, me personally, I don't like having the cell phone going through the ring. I know a lot of people use it this way. I don't like it this way simply because I have a big phone. And the big phone that I have is going to block some of the lighting. So that's not something I want to do. I don't want to block the light. I need as much light as I can, especially if I'm on location and I'm out and about. So the way I would go about it is I would put my phone here on this clip on the bottom. And then once my phone is on the clip on the bottom, then at that point, I would uh, angle it upward. Okay, I would angle it upward. So this way, it's shooting at me at a certain angle that way. Now, some people depending on the person, they might be sitting down. So you can angle your ring light down, 
put your phone in the center going straight through or you could have it this way and re-angle the position of your camera whichever way works best okay but for an on location light really not bad okay and what we're going to do is we're going to go out at nighttime it's daytime right now so i can't show you but i'm going i'm going to go out tonight with my separate camera videoing this setup with my cell phone and then from there you're going to see how well this thing lights and how well it works okay and like i said this is your usb cord okay which you could stick any type of adapter if you have any type of phone charging adapter at home just plug that into a wall and use the usb or you can use a laptop if you if needed be um I would say your best bet really is just using any type of cell phone charger, okay? Because this is measuring up at 10 watts and 2 amps, so 5 volts and 2 amps. So I would use any type of cell phone charger that's 2 amps. Uh, 3 amps, you don't want to go higher in amperage uh, because you do risk ruining the lights, the LED lights. So you don't want to do that. So stick to a regular two amp USB phone charger. If you have a three amp charger at home, find a two amp one and use that one. Okay. So there you have it, folks, regarding the Andabil system. Uh, pretty convenient system, I gotta say. It's uh, pretty cost effective. Um, it doesn't cost that much. And anybody who's looking to become a content creator would really benefit from this ring light. Um, you know, I've seen, I've had other ring lights that I purchased myself that I could put on the hot shoe of my camera or on a separate tripod stand that I purchased. That I actually paid good money for. I paid uh, a lot of money for, and it didn't have the controls where I can control the lighting power or strength, as well as this one and three different co uh, separate color tones. You know, with this one you get the cool, and then you get the warm, and then you get the in between. It's like kind of cool and kind of warm mixed, and I like that a lot. Uh, as far as outdoors. On my cell phone, when I record, it has automatic adjusting white balance. So as I increase the color temperature higher by the amount of lumens coming through the LED, um, it, you'll know and you'll see that the cell phone will actually auto adjust to the white balance so the white balance will correct itself through a cell phone now through a dslr or a mirrorless camera in most cases it does not so whatever you see is what you get with those cameras so you're going to have to go in and adjust your white balance yourself to make sure the image is great now the little remote control that comes with the ring light and it bluetooths to your cell phone let me tell you that is phenomenal. That is just great. That little small remote, you stick it in your pocket, you aim it at your, at your cell phone, click, it starts recording, okay? Now, the only thing you're gonna have to do trial and error in using the ring light is once, you, I mean, if you're indoors, you, you have controlled light indoors. You close all your windows, your blinds, and this and that, and whatever available light source that ring light is giving you, that is the light source you're getting. When you're outdoors, it's a different story. Even the moon is reflecting light. Cars driving by, mm. street lamps, uh, clouds going in front of the sun. So the light is always constantly changing outdoors. So you want to keep in mind that you might have to stop, pause, 
change the light or make adjustments while you're doing your recording and then afterwards in post-production you could always change and edit that stuff out this way you have a consistent clean well-lit video okay and that's it folks so i want to say the end of bill products is a great product source to uh pick up they have other products as well i'm going to be looking into as well but if you look down in the description i'll have a couple links to some amazon accounts to where you could purchase the end of the lights or uh, if not, if you don't need the light and you just need the uh, tripod, you could get the tripod as well. Do I think the tripod is, you know, worthy enough to hold a DSLR with a heavy lens on it? It could. I wouldn't recommend it, though, because it is a lightweight unit. I would use it specifically for smartphones, you know, whether they're tablets or smartphones or whatever the case may be. I would use it specifically just for uh, that type of medium i wouldn't i wouldn't go the dslr route if you do go the dslr route or a mirrorless camera with a heavy lens that attaches to it and if you are going to be shooting video that way keep in mind you want to protect your investment so you're going to want a heavy durable solid weighted tripod to make sure the weight of the lens doesn't lean too far forward and send your lens and camera crashing down However, if you're just using the weight of a cell phone, then by all means, definitely do that. Now, if you're going to have an external battery source powering your ring light, I would say get it like an external battery, USB battery power bank, and maybe build like some sort of strap or something where you could strap it to the center post of the uh, tripod that's holding the ring light this way it gives a good amount of weight to the ring light so it doesn't blow around in the wind in case you're outdoors uh, and that's it and if you are outdoors you always want to weigh down your tripod legs to make sure it doesn't go left or right some people do this by hanging uh, a, a weight like almost like a pendulum in between the three legs on that center rod you know there's a lot of things you could do you can add weight to it with sandbags or you can carry small little bags like uh, just cloth bags with like, uh, I don't know, some some sort of clothing uh, closing system where it's a rope that you pull and it squeezes down on it and, and, you know, creates a tighter hole or maybe a pouch with a zipper on it and just put it on there as long as it's got some sort of weight, whether it's water, sand or rock or whatever you're going to use to weigh it down. Okay. And that's it. That's all I got to tell you, folks. So that's my opinion on this product. And uh, click the link down below. I get no affiliate, uh, no affiliate links from this. This is just a word of mouth thing and a, you know, just my own personal advice to you. Okay. And that's about it. So if you do click on the links below, it'll take you somewhere to Amazon and buy the exact product that I picked up. That's all I got to say. From me to you, peace out. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Bye bye.